What's up guys? Hope you're doing good today. A 33 degree day. But it's alright because we got some clouds. Give us a little bit of relief. But yeah, today I just wanted to talk about is it worth having a motorcycle living in Canada? Or living in Ontario, Canada to be specific. So I believe yes if you ask me because obviously I'm riding my bike so I think it's worth it I just bought my second bike I bought it brand new so yeah I definitely think it's worth it there's ups and downs though uh, the bad part is you have to pay for insurance 12 months of the year that's not your choice you got to be insured all year round because if you leave an insurance company for the winter time they won't take you back the next season so you kind of get stuck having to either bounce around from insurance company to insurance company and hope you get a good rate which is not that easy or simply just go and pay insurance the full 12 months now some companies make you feel good about it and they group your payments into six months so you pay double for six months and nothing for six months so you kind of feel like you're only paying for the summer which is all right i don't have that i used to have that but yeah you only get about march till i'd say october of riding which isn't too bad but you got to remember you have to have all kinds of different riding gear to go through all those different seasons spring summer and then fall so you gotta have jackets you gotta have vests different kinds of gloves all kinds of junk so that can get expensive uh, what else is there the weather is really unpredictable some days you'll go out it'll be nice some days you'll go out it'll be nice and it'll turn to shit and it wasn't even predicted in the forecast and you just got to deal with it so learn to ride in the rain get comfortable with it because it's inevitably gonna uh, it's inevitably gonna happen to you you're probably gonna have to ride in some rain for gas wise it's not bad I get about 300 kilometers to a tank I pay 17 bucks for a tank and that's at $1.50 a liter on premium so I don't know I can't really complain about the gas prices insurance cost isn't terrible either i pay about 93 dollars a month on an sv650 and i'm 26. um what else can i tell you guys about riding a motorcycle in canada uh is it worth it yeah like the downsides are sometimes you can't go out because the weather's shit half the year you can't ride and the other half the year you still got to pay for the fucking insurance but the upsides are like look at these roads look at this road that I've been riding down there's some awesome roads to go on you can actually go out open up the bike enjoy some fucking scenery and take some curves or do some twisties whatever you want to call it leaning all the way out here and you can look at the lake or the river I'm sorry got some water there beside you it's nice like riding a bike in, in Canada is nice but there's definitely a lot of crap you got to put up with you got to be able to be patient wait for the season to come around you got to make sure that you have all the gear and yeah that's that's pretty much the gist of it like yeah I think that it's worth it but if you guys uh, are wondering or have any questions about riding a motorcycle in Canada, then definitely drop me a line. I'm not going to make this too much of a long video. I'm probably going to end it off just around the corner here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys ride safe out there. And until next time, drop me a like. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And peace.